Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. Today I'm sharing some cards I made using Doodlebug Designs Pumpkin Party 6x6 Paper Pod. Now this is not their new collection. Their brand new collection is called Happy Haunting and it's adorable. I was going to purchase it, but then I realized I still have two of their older Halloween collections and I decided I'm going to use one of them up first. The Pumpkin Party collection was released in 2018 and I don't believe it's available any longer. I will link to their brand new Happy Haunting collection if you want to check it out. I find that most of their Halloween collections are very similar. The other Doodlebug Halloween collection I have I believe is from 2016. And for that release I don't have any of the coordinating items. For this collection, I do have the ephemera and also the icon cardstock stickers. So I figured this was the perfect collection to use. I don't make a lot of Halloween cards, but when I do, I make sure they're cute and not scary. So Doodlebug is always my number one choice when I'm looking for Halloween papers. For embellishments on the card, I will be using Love From Lizzie Peel Off stickers. And I do have a link where you can purchase those in the description box below. For my last couple of 6x6 videos, I recorded a full voiceover. So for this video, I'm doing my traditional 6x6 video style. I like to mix them up since I know some people really like the music background videos and other prefer the full voiceover. If you're new to my 6x6 videos, I show the full process of turning a paper pad into a set of cards. Other than the die cutting and some of the stamping, I will show the full assembly of all of the cards. And I do like to make multiples of the same card. It's just something I've done all of my card making days. I will be donating all of these cards to the residents at a local retirement home. And that's why I prefer to keep them very cutesy and avoid all that scary stuff. Even if I didn't donate the cards, I still wouldn't be making the scary or gory Halloween stuff. It's just not my style. I will include a handwritten message inside every card. So it's basically happy mail for the retirement home residents. I love using card sketches for inspiration. And if you are interested in any of the sketches I show in this video, I share all of that information on my coordinating blog post. And that link is provided in the description box below, or you can simply head over to christymarcott.com. I also share close-up pictures of the cards and a detailed product list over there. In this video, I also pulled out some older cover-up dies. I've had them for years. They're some of my favorites, and I realized I haven't been using them lately. So you will see them in this video, and I do have links for all of those in the description box below. Since it takes several hours to turn a 6x6 paper pad into a set of cards, this video has been sped up five times. The real-time recording was around five and a half hours, not including any of my planning, prep, or die cutting time. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Now please sit back and relax and enjoy my video.
are all the leftover pattern paper scraps. I have a couple of the cut-aparts and then just some random pattern papers. In addition to the paper pad, I also used 22 sheets of 8.5 by 11 and 5 sheets of 12 by 12 solid colored cardstock. And that doesn't include the cardstock for my card bases. I made a total of 41 cards using Doodlebug Designs Pumpkin Party 6x6 paper pad. This is an older collection, so it may not be available any longer. They do have a brand new collection called Happy Haunting, and it's adorable. I will link to the Happy Haunting collection in the description box below. I'll admit it was really nice to use up an older paper collection that I've had sitting around in my craft room for a couple years. And Doodlebug Halloween collections usually are very similar. The colors are bright and vivid. They just change the designs a little bit. I still have some leftovers of the ephemera and the cardstock stickers, but I'll be able to save those for another Doodlebug Halloween collection. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.